Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here today a pen for review and this is a pen made by the brand Asvine. And you'll see it here, Asvine Writing Instruments. Now this is a pen that comes out of China, a little bit like Jinhao. Uh, I would say though that the, the price is probably four to five times higher than maybe a Jinhao X159. But uh, I did buy a number of these and I thought I would review them. So uh, I think with that, let's go and unbox uh, this pen. So if I remove the box, the outer box, you will see a, another box inside it. And uh, it's a plastic box. You'll see here it does say Asvine here on the plastic uh, box. Um, these are very similar to the Moon Man boxes, if you've ever seen the Moon Mans before. Now, if I open the box, you get the care guide here, or the instruction manual, uh, Asvine. And I have to say, I do like that font. Uh, it's a nice, nice uh, cursive font. Um, now, the Asvine pens come in a number of different um, filling mechanisms. So... Some will have a cartridge converter, some will just be an ink cartridge, some will be a piston filling mechanism, and some will be an eyedropper, and this one in particular is a vacuum filling mechanism. Uh, so it, it's good that they actually cover all the bases there, uh, although I think it would be nice just to make sure that for consistency they, they actually provide the correct instructions. But I know a lot of uh, Italian manufacturers and, and other pen manufacturers do exactly the same. So uh, with that care guide out of the way, what you will see here is the pen in a plastic bag. And if I remove it from that plastic bag, uh, you will see this, this uh, lovely uh, pen. So this is the Asvine V169. Now, um, I'm going to just uh, double check because I've ordered a number of these and I want to get the the name correct on this one. And uh, this, uh, I believe, I'm just looking now, uh, it's called the Transparent Coffee uh, with a gold trim. And I have to say, I, I really do like uh, this. This is a beautiful, beautiful color so they've actually taken a semi-translucent plastic or acrylic they've colored it into a coffee or brown color and then they put this gold trim overlay over the top of it now you can see there that the cap finial was just a dome uh, you can also see that the cap if i show you up close there you've got a little bit of a connection here um, it is a springy clip but it is stiff as well now the shape of this pen is quite cylindrical, so it pretty much is the same until it tapers down towards what is the cap band here, and that says Asvine on it. doesn't say anything else. Uh, and then it steps down here to the body and then continues down and then starts to taper down to what is the end cap on the body. Now, this is a power vac filler, so I'm going to unscrew this and when I pull that out, you'll see there that piston or rod with the O-ring there going up and down. So uh, it is a vac filling pen. Now, these overlays are, I believe, steel overlays and then uh, plated in, in gold or, or rhodium or, or other, other colors. Um, you will find that these are a little bit of a fingerprint magnet. I find that with a similar pen which is the Visconti watermark that I have so you do kind of want to have a polishing cloth with you uh, and when I say a polishing cloth I don't mean like a silver polishing cloth I would just uh, use uh, a um, sort of standard uh, cleaning cloth uh, like a microfiber cloth uh, just to shine up uh, the the color the gold or in other pen colors the silver or rhodium color now this is a, a pen that is quite cheap uh, it does come out of china it's not as cheap as a, a jin hao uh, 159 which is around about six or seven pound euros or dollars 
Um, this one uh, is a, around about 45 pound euros dollars around that kind of price mark so it is a lot higher but i think the build quality really shows through as well so this is a, a really beautiful pen I, I do like the overlay and i do like the colored acrylic uh, for the transparency here now if i unscrew the cap you'll see there it has an asvine number six nib it is a medium nib there m for medium uh with an abs plastic feed now it does have an ink window here as well uh, it is a power vac filler but you can also unscrew the body here and what you will see here is that there's an o-ring on there so you can actually fill the body with ink if you wish to uh, and not use the power vac mechanism now i'm not really sure if i would want to do that to be honest I i'm I'm quite afraid, I'm quite happy with the power vac uh, filling mechanisms. But some people might wish to do it. They, they might find that they knock uh, ink bottles over when they try to, to um, put this in an ink bottle. Now, it does have this uh, concave section here, which I find is really useful because it stops my fingers slipping down uh, onto the nib and feed and getting all inky. It does have an ink window, although you can see most of the ink in the body anyway. Um, in terms of the size of my hand, this is actually quite a good size. Uh, but if you wanted to, you can post the cap as well. But it becomes a little bit back weighted and it is also very long. So it's not something that I would usually do, but you can post it if you wish. So for me, I, I'm finding these pens are actually quite nice. Uh, I, I do like the look of these. And when you compare it to, say, the price of a Visconti watermark, you're paying around about thousand euros, maybe even up to twelve hundred dollars, depending on the actual model. Whereas this, you're paying around about forty-five. So, uh, okay, this does have a steel nib. It doesn't have a palladium, a twenty-three count palladium, or an, an eighteen count gold nib. Uh, but there's also probably nothing stopping you swapping those nibs out if you wish to uh, and i think i'm, I'm going to have a look i see i know on some of the ass vines you can just pull the nib out but yeah so here you go you can just pull the nib and feed out it is friction fit you do have a little bit of a key there you can see so you just put it back in in the same way uh and there you go so it's it's back in the pen there so uh, you could swap out a nib and feed if you have a gold nib. I would probably keep the feed with this pen and just change the nib if I wanted to put an 18 count gold nib on there. Uh, and that might be something that I might actually try to do at some point. So I think with that, let's do a size check and we'll do a, a weight check and then we'll do a pen comparison. So the full length of the pen, we are looking... Uh, around about 143 millimeters in length, which is actually a really, really good size pen. And then the length of the body, we are looking about 130 millimeters in length. So, and, and then the length of the cap, we are looking at about 63 millimeters in length. So, so that is actually uh, quite a, a good size pen. Uh, I think what we'll do, we'll do a weight check. Now, the full weight of this pen, uninked, we are looking at just over 52 and a half grams in weight. The weight of the cap, we are looking at just over, or just, yeah, just over 21 grams, or just under 21 and a half grams in weight. And then the weight of the body, uninked, if I can stop it rolling, is just over 31 grams in weight, just under 31 and a half grams. So, so that is actually quite a uh, good weight of uh, pen. Uh, quite quite a, a hefty pen, I, I would say. Uh, but it is a pen that, that I am liking quite a lot. So I think we'll do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have an Atelier Lusso Andromeda. 
We have another Atelier Lusa Andromeda. We have an Estabrook SD Oversize. We have a Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl. We have the Asvine V169. We have a Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero. We have another Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero, but this is the Grande version. We have a Gravitas Pen Skittles. We have a Black Robin Pens Iago. And we have a Scribo Fill in the Verde Prato. So I think let's go and do a writing sample. So this is the uh, Asvine. And it's the V169. And uh, I just want to double check the exact terminology that they use. It's a transparent coffee. Uh, so we'll do here transparent coffee uh, in gold trim. And uh, it is a medium uh, and it's a steel asvine nib. So it's not a bop, it's not a Yovo. Now, uh, the ink in here today is uh, KWZ. And uh, I've put in cappuccino uh, because this is uh, an ink that I'm starting to like quite a lot. Now, in terms of uh, line variation, I'd say you're probably getting somewhere between a fine and a western medium. If I press a little bit harder, you're definitely getting more of a medium. Um, and you can see here from these uh, figure of eights. Now... Also, you can see here there are no hard starts or skips on those vertical lines. So that to me says that the nib is pretty well tuned. Now, in terms of ink wetness, let's take a look. So it is actually a little bit drier, I would say, on the cross stroke. So this nib is uh, that you can see there a little bit on the dry side. Um, the downstrokes are actually quite good. So this is probably a nib that I'm going to probably floss a little bit. Uh, and when I say floss, uh, I'll show you here on camera actually. If I try to zoom in a little bit, uh, what I typically do will, is get a brass shim uh, and then I will try and insert it uh, Normally, I'll try and do it on the tipping. It's going to be difficult to try and show you this on camera, I think. But if I can... Oh, I'm just going to splatter the ink a little bit. If I can get it to insert directly there between the tines, I did get a bit of ink splatter, um, then I will do. And then what I will do is just drag it down. I'll do a 180-degree turn. And then if there's resistance, I will just be a little bit careful. Uh, and then I will just like try and just drag it but be very very careful um so this time these times are a little bit there you go that's already making it quite a bit wetter and i'll probably do this maybe three or four times uh just to and i'm just going to splatter myself with ink here everywhere but i will just do that and maybe i'll just sort of just apply the nib at times a little bit apart now you can just grab with your fingernails if you've got fingernails uh, and and just spread those tines a little bit but that already now is writing a lot wetter on those cross strokes so that that to me i would say is probably uh, a little bit better in terms of the writing experience i'm just gonna clean up my brass shim so i don't get ink everywhere uh, but as you can see there, though, uh, this now, let me do another. There you go. I, I've almost doubled the, the wetness of that nib just by doing that with the brass shim. What do I like? What do I not like about the pen? Well, I like the design. I honestly do like that design. Uh, I, I am a fan of the Visconti watermark. So I think it's no surprise that I'd be a, a fan of this design. I do like overlays. I do like demonstrators. I do like vac fillers. Um, the price point is amazing. Around £46, Euros, uh, compared to effectively 1000 
pound euros dollars on a on a Visconti watermark. Uh, okay, you are getting a gold 18 cap gold or a 23 cap palladium nib with the Visconti. Uh, you're also getting a warranty with it as well, which you probably are not going to get with this. Uh, if you send uh, a Visconti back, you're going to get it repaired. I'm not sure, so sure that Asvine will will do that. Um, so so that is all reflected in in the price of this pen. But for 46 pounds, you really cannot go um, wrong with with this pen. Uh, so I have to say I am liking this pen. I might flight the uh, floss the times a little bit more, just get that writing a little bit wetter in in line with the downstrokes. But for me, this this is a, a very nice uh, pen. Um, you will get variations on nibs. You will find some will write more dry, some will write more wet. Uh, this is a little a little bit drier than some of the other ass vines that I also ordered. Uh, but it also could be a combination with the ink. But I think this definitely seemed to be uh, the, the nib. The times were a little bit too tight. So there you have it. That's my review of the Asvine V169 Transparent Coffee with gold trim in a medium steel nib. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.